y'all and thank you for coming to the channel yes we in hot mess we in a hot mess situation today i don't know how true it is but we just gonna say allegedly and it's a hot hot serious mess okay none other none other than who we got to talk about portia williams and candy burris child from what these youtube streets are saying and i'm hoping this is not true i'm hoping it's false but allegedly it is being reported that portia is trying to get candy fired <laughs> i'm like wait a minute what the hell is going on okay first they were saying Je uh genie my jesus wife wanted to come and replace candy and we all know from candy's induction on the show she has really been just a plain Jane, just a message toter, a neutral rider on the fence. But she has her rider dies. She will go to bats for her, which is Kenya and Cynthia. And uh, she did have the same rapport with Portia until Portia started telling all these untruths that Phaedra had pretty much put in her head. But what the YouTube streets are saying, and they are getting very talkative and chatty, is that Portia want to come back. And the only person that is standing in her way is Candy Burris. Because she's making the most money. And she's boring is what Portia is specifying is the case of why she needs to come back. But I'm like, Portia, 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 girl. You were gone a whole season. And they don't matched up their own little recipe on trying to give us a solid, pleasing season for 14 and they didn't need you just like you threw caution to the wind you threw all of your jobs away your six-figure jobs away because you felt you had a billionaire that was going to take care of you the rest of your life and you were just throwing it in everybody's face that you cared to throw it in and now if you're trying to get rid of candy and you want to come back Girl, you don't have no storyline because we damn sure don't want to hear about you and Simon anymore just cast that line on out. Take the fishing pole out of the water. We don't want it. You may want it, but we don't want it. So, I hate to say you passed up a very good opportunity. Trying to bite off more of that apple than you needed to have bit off. Okay? And it just is what it is. They like candy. Unfortunately for you. We're going to have to be messy. And you're going to have to take that short end of the stick. Because unless Candy is willing to go. And Barbara don't want her to go. Candy's going to still be there baby. She ain't leaving no revenue unturned and untapped. Okay. She's going to do what she's always been doing. And that's making money. And more money on top of money. Okay. She ain't just throwing jobs out the way because she felt she had a good mate in Todd and Todd had hit a gold mine rush. No. She knew the value of working hard for yourself and she know how easily it can be taken from you and especially by your spouse. So that's why she made Todd sign that prenup honey. I don't know what he planned on getting on how many years they need to stay together but how you and uh, Candy and Shamil Y'all share the same friend as Shamil. But y'all were just at um, a good headspace. Y'all were attending Hawks games together. I mean, y'all might didn't come the same in the same car. Or maybe y'all didn't think y'all would see each other. But y'all have been coming cordial over the last few years. And I was glad to see that. Especially all the damage that you did listening to Phaedra about what uh, Candy and Todd was supposed to have been doing to you. Okay, that's why Phage is not on the show anymore. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be anything about her coming back. Until Candy do leave. And maybe they can trust Phaedra not to do any salacious stories on what she had did to cost her her job and her position on the Housewives. But it's, li it's really another here or there. Because we're talking about you and this rumor we got going on about you wanting to have bravo fire uh candy like you got that much pool now you were ep or executive producer on your own show and look how they did you baby they made you look plum stupid okay 
and they weren't editing anything out. They showed your true character and your true nature on how you dealt with your true biological family and how you interacted with the producers on the show that were actually trying to get some good footage of this whole mess of your family Porsche, Porsche's family matters okay it didn't matter it didn't matter honey it crashed and burned and we do not ever want to see that uh anything coming from that again we don't even want you to start from scratch and try to rebuild over no you can't hold your tv show on your own because you just destroy it with a lot of aggressiveness and a lot of negativity and a lot of fighting we don't want to see that and damn sure don't want to see it from a black woman okay no 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 but honey if it is true Portia that you are talking to the producers and the owners of the show behind doors and you're you know saying this and that about candy that's just poor sportsmanship that's just poor entertainment sportsmanship I mean Candy did a lot for you. A lot of stuff she didn't have to do for you after Cordell did what he did to you on record and in public. Okay. She gave you an opportunity to work for her when she was doing some type of mother's love's play. She cashed you in it. Wanted you to be in it. Tried to help you with your, um, what do you call it? That single you put out flatline. Introducing you to people and then you're going to throw salt on her name. And make her seem like she was the baddest person out there. Ruining her credibility. Might got her some jail time. And this, that, and the third. Just, just really messing with her revenue. Her money. Her peace of mind. Okay. You did all that. Because you opened up your mouth on some lie. That Phaedra told you. Or fed to you. Alright. And Because te technically you should have been gone along with Phaedra. Once that truth had came out. But they saw pity on you. They had pity on you. Same thing when you had Kenya by the hair. That was an assault charge. And I'm pretty sure you paid for it dearly. Because Kenya wasn't going to let that slide. No ma'am. No sir. No lord. Okay. And they saw, they saw pity on you again. So it's like they don't even want you to do a strike three. Because really strike three would be that Porsche family matters. You came out looking piss poor in it. And people were dragging you for filth. Including your family members. Okay, your cousins that were on you. But I'm just hearing through the YouTube grapevine. Is that you are trying to get Candy off her platform. That has definitely cemented her as a household name. And she's definitely have made other re revenue streams become through. Uh, made them come into fruition. Where she was able to plan. Uh, seek out other revenue streams and solidify them and just continue to make revenue streams from this platform that she's on which is Roa and doing a damn good job now instead of you learning from her seeing how she moves in the industry you want to be messy so that's where we are. We're in Messaville because we're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Why are you worried about Candace Pockets? Why are you even worried about Real Housewives of Atlanta? Period. And that means the T after the D in period. When you got a billionaire. You got a billionaire husband. You need to be jet setting. You need to be finding your daughter private tutor. She don't need to be in school when you got a private tutor. Simon has his other kids on, on a private tutor. So why don't you have PJ being tutored? Because you don't want to have time for PJ. Is that what it is? Since you have this billionaire husband. And you need to make sure nobody comes in contact with him. Or try to take him away from you. Like you did from family. Girl. The juice just keep dripping on you. The juice just keep dripping on you girl. And you just keep making content for me. Because this is crazy. I'm like you the one threw all of your jobs away. Now you want to come and put somebody else's job on the line. Because you don't think they are good for the show. Because you think they are boring. Because you think you need to have their salary. 
a salary that you had, maybe not her coins or what she was getting paid by being on roll, many candy birds. But you want to take all that. You want to take bread off her table to put her in, you know, the unemployment line or whatnot, where she wouldn't be in the unemployment line because she has several streams of revenue. But you want to come in and ice her out. So you can come back on a show that you left on your own, I'm assuming. Can't, I mean, Portia, where is your brain cells, baby? What 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 makes you think? What 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 is your whole philosophy of living now? What are your morals? What are your ethical values? How do you see yourself? Especially if all of this is true, girl. We have more questions for you. Because we don't understand your mentality. We don't understand your spirituality. We don't understand your emotional uh, sphere that you're in. We don't understand anything about you anymore. And I believe it's because that man came into your life, turned you upside down, and you don't know which way to go. But as we can all see, because we have eyes to see, ears to hear... That man don't want you. Just like that man, Naomi, don't want Nene. They want somebody they can toy with, play with, and get over on. And that's what both of them are doing. It seems like they are doing to you and Nene. Y'all don't lost y'all damn mind. Sitting up here catering to a man that won't even wife you. And Nene act like he don't even be touched by Nene. Let alone show her some friendly embrace. It was very embarrassing when Nene was over there on uh, The View. I think it was The View. Uh, no, I'm sorry, The Real. And she was co-hosted for a week while Jean and Ma was out on vacation. They were just subbing in different folks, celebrity reality stars and whatnot. And he, she brought Yoni with him, with her. And he didn't like he wanted to be around Nene. He was, his body language said it all. He was more for the cast than he was for Nene. But Nene said that's her boyfriend. I like I cannot I will not miss me on all that bullshit. But I tell you, I don't know, Portia, you a dangerous person to be around. Especially if you plotting against taking Candy's job. Which we all know. Barbara loves her. They love her. That's why they keep getting her spin off shows. Not necessarily for her, but the mixture of chemistry she has with her family to be able to put something out there. For the people to enjoy and be entertained by. Okay. But that's all I got for this video guys. Y'all get down in the comments. And, and, and light it up. Because I don't know what the hell wrong with Portia. Anybody she should be coming out for Kenya. But I guess she's scared of Kenya. She should be. Because <laughs> Kenya want her to come back. She's inviting her to come back. But the rest of the cast don't want her back. And I can see why. She's trying to be cutthroat. Ain't going to get her own throat cut once again. But she did it to herself. I'm sure everybody can agree. Portia did not have to quit her job to be somebody a fiance. She didn't have to do that. And right now, that man ain't trying to wife her. He ain't trying to marry her in no time now or in the future. But I may be wrong and I can digress. But at this point, it's been almost a year. It has almost been a year. And she said they were so much in love. He said they are so much in love. But yet neither one of them want to pay for a wedding. But Portia can go out there and pay for a vacation for Valentine's Day for him. But she can't pay for a wedding. He can't pay for a wedding. Why you need the white folks money? Why you need their money to go throw a, a, a wedding when you would throw it for yourself? Do for yourself. Be about yourself. Get married. As in now. Today. Don't worry about no uh, television show giving you a special or you want them to pay for your weddings and their accessories and all this, that, and the third. Uh-uh. You got it like that. Your man's supposed to be a billionaire. You don't need to take nobody money. You don't need to take no Asian money, no black folk money, no white folk money, no Eskimo money, no Native American money. Use your own money. It's cashable, isn't it? You a billionaire, Simon, or you not? You buy her cars over there, but you can't wife her. That's a piss poor man in my book. But y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me how y'all think about this situation. And all of this allegedly. It may not even be it. But just the thought that it would even come up. <laughs> it's just a masterpiece as it's, as, 
as it is. But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about it. And I'll see y'all next video. But don't forget to subscribe, share, and like my videos. Bye-bye.